If you've harvested a lot of keywords in Keyword Researcher, then you might find times in which you want to get the actual data, like the search volume and the suggested bid, for the new keywords that you've just harvested. You can see in this list here, we have about 5,668 keywords that we've just found using our various tools in Keyword Researcher. And now we want to fill in this data here. Now there are lots of apps on the internet that you can use to get search volume and CPC suggested bid, but my favorite is still the free Google Keyword Tool, now called the Google Keyword Planner. So let's suppose that I just wanted to copy and paste all these keywords into the Google Keyword Planner. So I can just right click and select all of the keywords themselves. I'll hit copy and I'll go to the Google Keyword Planner. Now I'm logged into the interface screen. I'm going to click the Get Search Volume button and I'm going to paste in my keywords. And what you'll notice is that there are errors. And the reason there are errors is because you can only bring in 2,500 keywords at a time in the Google Keyword Planner. So how do you only select 2,500 keywords at a time? Well, that's why we have a little function in Keyword Researcher to do that. We're back in Keyword Researcher now, and again, you'll notice that we have 5,668 keywords, but we can only import into the Keyword Planner in batches of 2,500. So let's use our little export tool. We'll come up and hit the Import Export button and select Export Keywords for the Google Keyword Planner. Now this box is very simple. It simply allows you to copy and paste keywords in 2,500 word increments, right? So I'm selecting my temporary keyword grid right now because this is the temporary keyword grid and this is the project keyword grid. You can see my project keyword grid is empty because I just want to check stats for the keywords in my temp grid right now. So I'll simply click, click the copy to key keyboard button and I've just placed 2,500 keywords in my Windows clipboard. You'll notice the little check mark here indicating that I've already clicked on this batch. So now I'll switch to the Keyword Planner and we'll go back to the box we were at and then we'll simply paste in our keywords and our data will come up. Now remember the important thing for SEO, Keyword Planner starts you in the Forecast tab but we want to be in the Historical Metrics tab if we're in SEO. So we just click on the Historical Metrics tab and then click the Download Keywords button. And I've just downloaded my CSV to my hard drive. Now we just have to do the same thing again. I'll click the X on the top left here of the Keyword Planner. I'll return to Keyword Researcher and I'll click on the second group of 2,500 keywords. And now I'll just repeat the process. I'll come back to the Google Keyword Planner, click on the white button, and I'll simply paste in my keywords. Now one thing that's funny with the box here, if you click here or here or here or here or here, you don't see the little paste screen. You have to click right on the letters to get the little paste button to, to show up. Or you can just press Control V on your keyboard, on your keyboard to paste into the Google Keyword Planner. So that's a curious little bug, but I've just pasted in my next batch of 2,500 keywords now. And my next batch of data comes up. I'm going to not click the Forecast tab because that's our default tab. Remember, we want to be on the Historical Metrics tab. And then I simply click the Download button. And now I've gotten my next batch of keywords from the Google Keyword Planner now on my hard drive. That's number two. So we'll return to Keyword Researcher and we'll just copy the last few rows. Now remember, it's 2,500 keywords at a time. We had 5,668 keywords in our temporary keyword grid. So we got the first group of 2,500. We got the second group of 2,500. That means we've gotten 5,000 so far. And so that means there are 668 left. And that's what's in our keyboard now, 668 remaining keywords. So we return to the Google Keyword Planner. I'm gonna click right on the text and hit paste. 
and we'll get the latch last group of keywords from the keyword planner our data is here now we're going to click on our historical metrics tab and click download again and that's it we now have our three csv files of the keywords we are checking from keyword researcher we can now just take our csv files and click on the import button and we can simply drag our csv files into keyword researcher And you'll notice that our columns now have keyword data for our batch of keywords. So there's a few things to click on the keyword planner and it can be a little bit tedious at first, but actually it's really simple. All you do is feed the Google keyword planner batches of 2,500 words at a time and it will forever spit out free keyword data, which makes it still, even after all these years, a very valuable tool in SEO.